Hey everybody, just wanted to jump in and do a sort of a follow-up to the earthquake video I did the other day. I know I've got other stuff to cover. It's just so much to get to, but right now I'm really concerned um, about the earthquakes that are popping off, and I think it's of you know vital importance that I get this um, on record um, and share it with you guys. We had the Japanese earthquake, uh, the one in Japan that hit the other day, um, that killed 29 people and injured 1,500 more. And, you know, a whole bunch of damage to the in infrastructure and people are still missing and, and buried under rubble, unfortunately. But today, as some of you or most of you probably know, we've had a 7.9 hit the coast of Ecuador, followed up by a couple uh, other 7.3, 7.4, 5.4, 4.5. .4, and, uh, you know, little ones still popping off here as the aftershocks are coming. There was a, a sort of minor tsunami about a, a meter high that uh, was traveling west. Uh, through the Pacific, but no major damage reported and nothing really to be concerned of over that. But the fact that these quakes are, are popping off like crazy, I'm still getting alerts on my phone, tells me that something's going on here um, and we need to keep our eye on it. So far, we've got 28 dead from the Ecuador quake today. Uh, CNN's measuring it at 7.8, which is just one point lower than what the um, global incident map is showing here. But nonetheless, a major quake. Um, and then we've got an article coming out on a few of the, uh, you know, the, the websites, alternative and mainstream, talking about the fears of the big one is five major earthquakes strike Asia in just 72 hours. That's not even including Ecuador, of course. Um, it goes on to say that the latest quake this morning measuring 7.3 injured more than a thousand and trapped people in collapsed buildings on a day after a quake killed nine people in the same region. Um, it goes on to talk about how Scientists say there have been an above average number of significant quakes across South Asia and the Pacific since the start of the year. The increased frequency has sparked fears of a repeat of the Nepal quake of 2015 where 8,000 people died. Roger Billum, seismologist at the University of Colorado, said the current conditions might trigger at least four earthquakes greater than 8.0 in magnitude. And if they delay, the strain accumulated during the centuries provokes more catastroph catastrophic mega earthquakes. So, um, you know, in my opinion, unfortunately, I think the West Coast is going to get hit next. Um, if you're living over in the West Coast on Alaska, Oregon, California, um, you got to take warning, take heed, and sort of get prepared because um, just 43 minutes ago, we had a 3.8 hit Arizona. And... If you guys remember, if you look at the video I did the other day, I showed six quakes popping off in Alaska. And now if you look up here, I mean, I can count at least 15 of them. Little ones popping off all the way up to 3, you know, 3.0, going from 2.0 to 3.0. Um, let me just do a control search find here. So there's 13 that have popped off in the past... Uh, 20 hours or so since uh, you know, since the first one I did. So Alaska's, you know, going crazy over there. California, there's a few popping off. We had, a, uh, like I said, the 3.0 or the 3.8 in northwestern Arizona, um, bordering Nevada. But, um, you know, clearly something's going on with this stuff. Um, and we got to keep our eyes open. Not only that, we had a volcano erupt following the earthquake in Japan the other day. It was a minor quake, but not a uh, volcano, uh, small scale eruption, but nonetheless something to keep our eye out because there's uh, something like 38, 40 volcanoes erupting right now. And people are saying it's sort of unprecedented what's happening as far as volcanic eruptions. And we've also got one in Alaska, low level of eruption reported in remote Alaska volcano in, uh, near Juneau. Um, you know, another small eruption, but but still nonetheless, I mean, you know, stuff's happening and it just continues to escalate. I think these quakes are going to continue in magnitude and in frequency. And um, if this is, you know, due to Nibiru, I mean, if, 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 if Nibiru is the cause of these quakes right now, then that means we're already in the shit, so to speak, and these are just going to get worse and, you know, they're not going to de-escalate. They're not going to, you know, diminish in frequency. If if Nibiru's getting closer and not getting further away, uh, these quakes are just going to continue to happen, and uh, it's just a matter of time before the West Coast gets rocked by like an 8.0 or even greater, as you know these uh, these scientists and, and seismologists are saying. So, 
Um, North Korea also came out today, sacred North Korean volcano at risk of po possible eruption. Uh, you know, I, I hate to say it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really care too much if, you know, I care, I care for the civilians in North Korea, but, you know, if it, if it wiped out, you know, Kim Jong-un, the rest of his, uh, evil regime, I wouldn't really cry over that, but, but still, uh, just volcanoes, quakes popping off all over the place right now. This is out of Superstation 95 that just came out recently. Um, I used to sort of think this site was sort of a hoax site, but they, they're basically taking, uh, articles that are, been circulated throughout the net on other alternative or mainstream sites that are uh, valid and uh, so they hold water. So this says entire USA shaking from Ecuador quake, quake all seismographs still quivering hours later. A very unusual and frightening thing is taking place throughout the USA right now. The entire landmass of the country is vibrating. It began with an explosive magnitude 7.8 earthquake in Ecuador and has not stopped since. The, the entity which monitors earthquakes throughout the country is the USGS. They run the Advanced National Seismic Sensors, uh, sensors which is the backbone of all the earthquake monitoring throughout the nation. Uh, has about 88 seismographs nationwide. As shown below, uh, with the exception of two seismographs that are not presently functioning, uh, all seismographs in the, United, in the US are showing ongoing quivering from the er Ecuador earthquake, all of them. It's almost as though the earthquake shook the planet and, it caused, and is causing it to wobble. While we may not actually feel the vibrating the seismographs confirm it is taking place but it, it is doing so at a depth we cannot feel perhaps the same 10 kilometer depth where the earthquake uh, in ecuador took place while that vibrating goes on it is loosening things beneath us as these vibrations continue it is highly likely they will trigger other other earthquakes throughout the u.s areas which are prone to earthquakes are more likely to experience new ones as this vibrating continues as such, folks in California, Oregon, Washington should be prepared for a possible earthquake tonight or tomorrow. Um, and then it goes on to basically show this huge list of uh, the seismographs that are popping off, going off the charts, and they have not stopped since the Ecuador quake took place. Uh, I'm not, I'm not an expert on this stuff. You know, I don't know how it works, but apparently, you know stuff is supposed to sort of die down after something like that and and it looks like all these seismographs throughout the country are are going haywire right now which you know tells us uh you know it's not that's not good so we gotta obviously watch out for that and like i said people on the west coast uh you guys gotta prepare and um you know do the best you can to to get through something like that because uh in my in my opinion i think california is going to get rocked here pretty soon um let's just pray this is you know just a, a tiny little uh you know cycle and we're going to get through it and everything will die down in the next few days um it maybe it has to do with you know solar activity the big sunspot that's going on there right now or just plate tectonics shifting underneath um and you know this is just coincidence these, these are all happening back to back in the past few days and weeks so um worst case scenario this this you know is related to the passing and the coming of Nibiru. There's so much talk about Planet X going on. And if that's the case, then we better buckle our seatbelts and get ready for, for a wild ride because these quakes are going to continue in frequency and magnitude and uh, the whole planet is going to get rocked. So not trying to fear monger, just trying to stay fact and uh, what my opinion is. So on that note, guys, I'll leave you uh, and have a good night and I'll uh, try to follow up with some uh, geo geopolitical videos tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye-bye.